Hey everybody, it's Brady here with Broke Box Breakers, and if this is your first time checking out our channel or you've been here for a while, I just want to say thank you very much to each and every single one of you. If you don't mind, please hit that like and subscribe button, and if you see something worth commenting on, do that too. What we've got today is the 2023-24 Black NBA First Off the Line. This is the debut for this product. They've not done this for the NBA before. We have ripped the Black product before for NFL. I did this last year and we actually got a, a pretty decent box. I pulled a nice CJ Stroud patch of 10. We ended up selling that on our eBay page for a decent amount, help make back the money on the box. When you have these boxes, you, that's what you're hoping for is one big hit. That's really all it takes to get your money back because these boxes are expensive. This box cost us $410 through the Dutch auction from Panini. With five cards in this box, you're talking about $82 a card. That's hard to claw back your money on. So anything we can do, we, we hope that we can get a little bit money back from it. And you need those big hits to do it. So that's what we're looking for today. Big hits, autos, maybe a nice Wimby insert. That's the only way you're really going get, to get the funds back. So like I said, this is just a little guy. Five cards in here. I'll give you a little bit of a look at the box here. Let's hope the hit is bigger than the box. Yeah, let's hope the hit is bigger than the box. This thing is like a deck of cards. It's like their nano version. We just yeah. got this delivered today. We didn't even know it was coming. Adam texted David and I. It's the work day, middle of the work day. He said, this just showed up randomly. Is anyone available? And David was able to get away from work and meet me here. And so here we are. We're going to try and get this review out for you quick. Here's the checklist for anyone interested. Go ahead and grab a screen grab. But what we are going to get out of this, what we should get out of this, what we should get out of this since it's a first off the line, is one first off the line autograph numbered 21 or less, one first off the line parallel numbered to 15 or less. We're supposed to get one other parallel and two base cards. There's a chance to get super short prints out of this. It looks like the hot tickets are going to be White Knight or Vanta. There's going to be five cards per pack, one pack per box. 12 box per case. There are only 135 cases of this that were sold, so 1,620 boxes. There's not a lot of boxes, so we'll see if we got one of the decent ones or not. Panini's really been juicing up these first off the line boxes in our experience, so it's been worth buying the first off the line over the hobby box. We've been getting better rookies, better autos, just better consistent cards. I don't know why that is. If you guys have an idea, go ahead and shout it out in the comments. My personal thought is they're juicing the first off the line boxes so that people see the videos or the breaks online, whatever, and then they go out and buy the hobby boxes knowing that the hobby boxes aren't going to be as good. So maybe that's why they're juicing first off the line. If you guys think so, let us know. Without much more ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. I've got David over here in the sleeping factory, like I said. Let's go, Brady. So I'm going to rip these, hand them off to him, let him sleeve, and we'll bring them back in. At the end, I'll give a review per usual. We're Wemby hunting, right? We are Wemby hunting. We're always Wemby hunting. You know, there's some other good rookies. Obviously, Wemby's the stud. He's the guy that is going to make you your money back on these products. We like Brandon Miller, too. Um, the Asar and the men, Thompson, they're okay. Uh, Scoot Henderson had a decent year. Another name people are looking for. Man, look Another at that. Good ones. Derek Lively, Hame Hawkes, yep, yep. Jemski. class. Yeah, it is a, actually a pretty good class. And you can get some of these guys' autos. Obviously, you're not going to be getting Wimby. I don't believe you're getting Brandon Miller from these either. But, I mean, Hame, Jaime Hawkes, he's got a good auto. Podzemski, his stuff's been selling decent for us. He's got a heck of a market. He really does. I mean, Golden State, obviously, people love the Warriors. So, I'm a Cavs fan. I wouldn't mind getting a Cavs player out of here. I've been buying up some Evan Mobley from the offseason. His rookie cards, that's who I'm going after. Who's your guy's big name that you're hunting? Who's someone you're stacking, trying to build up the uh, portfolio on in the offseason? I'm not sure which way to go with this. So, should we just show the top and then I'll... At that just, price, they should all be good. They should all be good. You know, we're just going to start right here. I'll show you guys the first card. I'll bring in a filler card, and then we'll uh, take it back from there. Try and get this open as easy as I can. Kawhi Leonard, our Why? first card. Go ahead and get our little filler out. 
It's a good looking card though. I love that design. One of the best laughs in the NBA. Too. <laughs> yeah. So this is numbered to 75, nine of 75, right there on the left hand by my thumb, you can see it. So starting off with the numbered card already. Quite some thicker stock too. Yeah, these are thick. I'll give you a little bit better look at this card once I pull it out here. So I think that's about a 75 point. But here's your first look. Kawhi Leonard, Clippers, Black. I really like the look of these cards, and it looks like it's in good shape. These cards better be in good shape when you're paying $82 a card. What I did notice last year with the football first off the line, there was some chipping on the edges and the corners. And don't do that. Don't do that to us today, Panini, please. This isn't a retail box by Walmart. It's first off the line. Quality control matters. LaMelo Ball for our next numbered card. So two of three. This is our first off the line to three, I believe, is Emerald. That's LaMelo out of three? This is LaMelo out of three. Nice. We just pulled a sick LaMelo. Actual game-worn patch from the last box we did. Didn't even know Panini does that. I, mean, I know, he right? surprised the heck out of us. But LaMelo to three. Really good looking He's got card. a pretty good market, too. He does have a good market. People like LaMelo. I mean, we love those Hornet colors, too. I just think it's a fun look. Because we all grew up wearing that Hornet starter jacket. I Absolutely. Like. Yep. <laughs> Teal. <laughs> Every kid that's grown up in the 90s had that at some point. All right, our next one feels like a thick one. Let's see what we got here. Auto, Kobe Bufkin. First off the line, so that's one of 15. Sticker auto, I mean, it is ruby. This is the ruby to 15. You can see it's got the red, which matches you know, his uniform and the memorabilia there. So I do like that it's a total color match. It's gotta be a napkin though, right? Not game worn. Well, let's see, David. The enclosed officially licensed material is not associated with any specific player, game, or event. That's what we've come to expect. So like I said, I was really surprised when we got the numbered Lamello out of our last box. Um, I'll go ahead and link that in the, right up here for anyone that's looking. <laughs> Should still have two more cards here. You know, it'll bring these other guys back in. There's so few cards, we may as well show them off the whole time while we're here. Numbered LaMelo, numbered Kawhi, and we'll have a numbered Kobe Bufkin coming back to us. And Chris Paul. Chris Paul on the base. Hmm. Even the base cards look good. I mean, the quality really is a lot better than last year's when we did the NFL. This is more of what you expect. I mean, I'm not seeing any bad corners, really. The edges all look good. I'm not seeing the chipping that I'd noticed on some of the cards last year. Got to get a thicker sleeve for that one. Nope. Apparently, we're out of the uh, big boys. We'll just bring Kobe back here in the uh, soft John right there. All right, everybody. This is our last card. Last card of magic, Brady. Last card Brady of magic. Home, brother. And Clay Thompson. Nice. Not a bad pull. Clay Thompson, one of the guys, one of the Golden State Warriors best players. We'll see if he's still there. I believe, he, did he get traded or was he, there talk about him leaving the team? Yeah, I'll have to catch up on that one. Any of you guys that follow more NBA in the offseason than us, let us know. NBA season's coming up on us real quick. We'll be paying a lot more attention now that it's coming back into the picture. So this is what we got today. I don't think we're going to get our $410 back, everybody. But you never know. Sometimes these things, you run them on an auction, and they'll surprise you what they end up selling for. So check out our eBay page. Some of these we might go ahead and get graded, but otherwise they'll probably end up for auction on our eBay page. The base cards, like I said, I think look really good. Um, I love the style, and the quality is actually top tier this time. That's good to see. Number to three. Now, we weren't guaranteed to get a number to three. This could have been 15. So to get one number to three, that's solid. I mean, LaMelo, it's a good player, popular player in the league. That should do okay. Kawhi Leonard, I really like this look. This is honestly probably one of my favorite looking cards in this whole set, just with the way that design is on the background. I think that's really cool. And then our auto, rookie auto, sticker with... 
unaffiliated men. <laughs> what are you going to do? It's not a bad card. It's not a great box. The product, I like the product, but when you're paying almost $100 a card, I mean $82 a card, you hope to get something that's at least going to make you maybe half of your money back. But this is a gamble. It's not always going to happen. So I'm not going to do my review based off of the value of the product. I'm just going to do it based off the quality, and I'm going to give it a 7. 7 on quality, 6 if you're going to throw in price. I'd like this to come down a little bit and be a little bit more cheaper. We'll see if they end up doing any hobby boxes that are going to be less than that or if people start to resell these online for less. If you like the product, go out and snag it. Let us know what you think in the comments. But until next time, happy box breaking and pack ripping to each of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.